Apostle is a 2018 British-American film directed by Gareth Evans and stars Dan Stevens, Michael Sheen, Mark Lewis Jones, Paul Higgins, and Lucy Boynton. Now, unfortunately, this film is a Netflix original, so that's the only goddamn place you can watch it. I mostly knew Gareth Evans for uh, directing two of those Raid films, uh, which are just straight-up, total, kind of old-school action movies. So I was, I guess you could say, I was pretty curious to see what he could do with, like, a, a folk horror-type project. And the plot follows Thomas Richardson, played by Dan Stevens, a man that will stop at nothing to find his sister and save her from this religious cult living on a remote island. I haven't seen like a ton of folk horror films, but it's a it's a genre I'd like to see more of for sure. I've been kind of slowly working on that. Um, but I am always drawn to like religious type horror. The age old tales and even historical accounts of people using religion for power is endlessly fascinating for me, uh, not to mention fucking terrifying. And I had been hearing about this film for a while, at least the last couple of years. Uh, people seemed to be talking about it, and most were kind of praising it. Now that I've finally seen it, I have some pretty mixed feelings, so we'll get into all that. This is a period piece, as you would expect from most folk horror films, uh, set in the early 1900s, again, like most folk horror stuff. Uh, the first act had me pretty hooked. The atmosphere was tense and dark, uh, with a sense of urgency as Thomas, you know, wastes no time, uh, you know, once he learns where his sister has gone. And the tension owes a large amount of its effectiveness, in my opinion, to the ominous score, uh, something I noticed really almost immediately, I think within the first five minutes. The premise here, very simple, uh, with Thomas going, you know, to the island disguised as a new convert while he looks for his sister, of course. Dan Stevens has been a rising star for a while now, and I've, I've really grown to like him. His performance here is very propulsive. Uh, he's a man on a mission, and he, again, like I've said, he stops at nothing and clearly will just do whatever he needs to do, and he's not wasting a second. He's perfect for this role, you know? I mean, he's got those smoldering eyes, and Gareth Evans really kind of uses that to the film's advantage, and Stevens is really intense here, maybe more than I've ever seen him. Michael Sheen also gives a really good performance and is equally intense and simultaneously sinister and intimidating as the island's, like, cult leader. Now, if the first act was kind of a slow burn, and I thought it was, uh, the intensity just builds with every scene. Uh, and I will say, I didn't really see a lot of this movie coming. It, it took me by surprise many, many times. Um, not always good necessarily, but still, that's something to be said. There's a very solid amount of gore and violence, uh, even some fight scenes uh, that, you know, Gareth Evans is known for. I, that wasn't really for me. I, I could have done without that. I don't, that, that, that kind of thing is not really what I'm looking for in a film like this. Uh, so one problem I had with this is that it was kind of too much of a mixed bag for me on a personal level. With folk horror, you know, I want atmosphere and dread. I don't really need much else. Even if the pace is slow, I'm okay with that. If you want a perfect example of what I look for, uh, the Witch, that uh, perfect example of what I look for in folk horror. Not everyone can make a movie as good as that, I get it. Um, you know, there is some some effective supernatural elements here that I thought were unique and pretty cool, uh, but it's the action scenes again and the ramped up pace that really kind of threw me off. The cinematography was pretty ambitious, uh, and I appreciated that, so I, I have to give credit to Matt Flannery, a uh, frequent collaborator of Gareth Evans. It really is a nice-looking film, and my favorite scene is where Dan Stevens has to go through, like, this... I think it's, like, some sort of a sewer. Uh, it's crazy. He's just, like, neck deep, if not, like, face deep in uh, in waste for, like, a solid like two to three minutes. Uh, and, man, he is just going for it. It's, uh, it's such a gross, intense scene. I mean, like, this water and stuff's getting in his mouth and, like... Dan Stevens just kills that scene. I actually, I really liked it. So I'm giving Apostle a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, I realize that's quite a bit lower than what most people seem to give it. Um, Dan Stevens absolutely chews the scenery, uh, though I don't know if I'd say it's his best performance. I think there are some scenes where he kind of oversells a little bit. Uh, but if you like movies, you know, that go in, in, in directions you don't really expect, uh, you might like this, but it didn't always work for me. Again, I liked the supernatural elements, uh, and I thought the ending was very, very cool, too. 
Um, if you like folk horror, I, I would recommend this uh, as a curiosity. Uh, just don't expect The Wicker Man or The Witch or anything like that. Cheers, guys.